Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use Custom Drops Editor. This plugin allows you to edit drops from blocks and mobs using an in-game GUI. It's very simple to use and has many features. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab and type in Custom Drops Editor. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. This plugin currently receives a lot of updates, so the latest version might not show up here. If it doesn't, you can download it straight from the plugin page and upload it to your plugins folder manually. In game, to access the GUI, type in slash cdrops. Here you can select if you want to edit mob drops or edit block drops, as well as change the global settings. In the global settings section, you can change whether looting or fortune will have an effect on the drops and by how much. You can also change if it's a multiplier or a percentage increase. Another thing you can do is change what worlds these options will take effect in. However, you can override this later if you wanted. In the mobs list, you can select any mob you like and edit a bunch of parameters. And once you select a mob, you can firstly toggle the vanilla drops and in which world these vanilla drops will drop or not. Then under the custom drop section, you can add whatever items you like to the mob. Ensure that you have the item you want dropped in your inventory. Now click the add button and select whichever item you like. Once you've done that, click the item and here you can adjust the drop chance and other options as well. You can either use the global world setting or you can override it and change exactly which worlds this specific item will drop in. There's also drop effects which you can enable or disable or you can change the color of. And lastly, there are some drop conditions such as drop from spawners, spawn eggs, bred animals only, or just naturally spawned mobs. You can toggle each of these on or off, of course. So now that I've finished changing this drop, let's go test it out. I made our chicken drop cooked chicken 100% time, but only in the nether. In the overworld, it won't drop anything. And as you can see, it works all fine. Creating a block drop is very similar. Type in slash C drops and then select the edit a block icon. Then just add a block just like so. I'm going to make this iron block drop 9 ingots instead of the block itself to show you that you can change the drop of any block at all as well as all the ores. From here you can do pretty much the same things like toggle the vanilla drops and add your own custom drops. So let's disable the vanilla drops and add our own custom drops for the ingots. There are options for placed blocks only or naturally spawn blocks as well. There's the same drop effect as well and the world override option too. Now that I've changed these options, you can see that when I break the block, it drops the nine ingots instead of the actual block itself. And that's about it. Now again, this plugin is being developed quite frequently and if you need any help or have suggestions, join the official Discord channel, which can be found on the plugin page. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.